Hello, wonderful people, guys. Welcome, guys. Greeting everyone out there that come across this face. This scatter scatter girl for the first time. You're really welcome. So let me dive in. Let me just start. Let me, let me start saying what brought me here. I want to be talking about parents. Parents, please. I'm on my knees. I'm begging you. I don't know. I'm going to say it. Don't be differentiating this other child and be doing and see this other be pampering this other one and see this one is the most most goodest most bettest. I don't understand. You're the one that gave birth to this other child, even though you're not the one that gave birth to the child. Since the child is staying with you, the child is under your care. You have to treat them the same. Treat them the same because tomorrow, if they grow up now, nah, it will be affecting them. This other one will be complaining. Ah, mommy does not like me. Ah, she only like this other person. Anything I do, she has always been complaining. Go right from when they are child, you always differentiate this one. I've told you not to be nearing Kevin. Kevin is too arrogant. He used to do strong, strong things. You should not go and wound you for me. I don't know what is wrong with you. How shall not the one that gave birth to the child? I would have sent the child away. I don't know where you came from. You just be doing the child as if you're not the one. Didn't you feel the pain? Did you feel the labor pain? Even though you're not the one that gave birth to the child. Remember the pain, the pain you felt is the same way that other person felt that the same pain in that labor room, in that delivering room. So you don't need to be differentiating children. Tomorrow, some, some of you are doing this thing and it's affecting the children. Even to the extent they've grown, they're still differentiating. Ah, I beg you, my mom likes me and that's why they're always angry with me. I don't understand them. It's a lie. Your mom is setting a big confusion. She's setting a big confusion between you and your brothers, between you and your sisters, between you and your siblings, your cousins. I don't want to know. She's causing a big confusion. She, What she's supposed to be doing is supposed to be pampering you the same way tell you what you're doing that is faulty tell this one what is doing that is wrong you don't need to say okay because this one have done something wrong oh let me just let me support this one oh, they'll start using grudges they'll start carrying envy they'll start carrying bullying for each other if for instance he wants to help this one you say i beg i don't want to help you let him not come and take because of the kind of word you as a mother you as a father you as a auntie that the child is under your control under your care what are the words are you telling the child please this thing is annoying and it's paining me it's not good for you to have a child and the child that is under your control you'll be criticizing telling the child who not to follow who to follow don't be following this your brother i've told you this your brother might poison you one day don't be doing this i've told you this your sister eh? hey hey some of them they will be criticizing their own child for their own picking again imagine I've told you this your sister can walk out, walk out. Let her not go and give you bad name. Every body knows that. And Joe used to walk out, Please leave her, avoid her. I've seen you, you're different. You're like me, like who? Can you come like who? Were you not the one that gave birth to all of them? Why would you be differentiating? Differentiating who? When you went to labor room, did they differentiate your womb? Oga, madam, auntie, is you people I'm talking to? It's not good. Those things are bad. Papa them as one. Take care of them as one. If you know this one is doing something that is no good, sit all of them one. Let them have one mind. Let them be united. Like as I was saying, let's try to love all of them. Each time they go wrong, as in they do something to you as a father, as a mother, you don't like. You need to come meeting. Sit all of them one. Tell them you people are siblings, you people are cousins, you people are brother. I don't see one reason why you people are quarreling, you people are carrying grudges for each other. Make them to be united. You might not be there again to start affecting the children. They'll start be fighting, doing violent things, killing each other, envying each other. This one with this one sees where to stab his, his, his brother. He will use knife and stab because of the way you brought them up, because of the things you put on their brain, their mindset, their mentality. Now is is fetish. Let's try and stop it as a parent, please. If you're a parent, you come across this video, please try to be making your children. Let them live one. Let them live one. Let them live united. Let them live peacefully. So that if the children live peacefully, you see them, they'll start favor will start coming from 
east, west, north, south, everywhere. People will start looking at, ah, this family, I like the way they are united. I like the way they are doing things. People will start envying them. But when people see that this family, I really like them. But when they see you as a parent, you're using your hand to spoil them. People now will not enter inside, will start spoiling them, will start fighting. And you now, because you cannot walk, you cannot do anything your age, you start saying, oh God, your village people is after you. Is it everything we as a human being we use our mouth in saying that is our village people that is always after us when we are up after ourselves? I beg, this thing is annoying. Please, guys, try and share this video. Thanks for watching. See you guys on my next video. Bye.